A big day ahead for the city of Plano as Toyota officially unveils the company's new headquarters at Legacy West. CBS 11's Brittany Jeffers joins us live from the property. Brittany. <laughs> Russ, currently there are 2,000 employees working here, but ultimately there will be 4,200. Now we got the chance to speak with the mayor, and he says that this space and the grand opening signifies a new era for the city. 100 acres, 2 million square feet, and three years in the making. This is the center Oculus. We got an inside look at new Toyota North America headquarters in Plano, where 4,000 employees will work. It's a state of the art facility, complete with a rock climbing wall, collaborative spaces, and environmentally friendly fixtures. Many employees relocated to Texas from California, and when I asked the CEO why they chose Plano, this is what he said. So it was important for us to find somewhere that, that had a better quality of life for our folks. That the homes were more affordable, commute times were better, uh, people could be home with their families for dinner, um, schools were very good. So all of that, um, you know, fed into that decision. And and I, there's no question to me that this location in Texas is is the premier corporate location in the country. The mayor says they've been waiting for this since 2014, and this new space will help to generate continued economic growth for the city. Well, what it means for our city is the economic prosperity and, and the, the, the energy that's generated from having a major corporation like Toyota call Plano home. And then above and beyond that, it solidifies our place in the marketplace in terms of North Texas and what we bring to the region. Now, the events are just going to continue throughout the rest of the day. Governor Greg Abbott will be here this evening at 5.30 for the ribbon cutting. And, of course, we will have crews there and bring you the latest throughout our newscast for the rest of the day. Reporting live here in Plano, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News. All right, Brittany, thanks.